Hi, uh, my name's Michael Hymer and my kids have been doing Taekwondo for many years and I've also participated in football coaching and uh, I'm interested to know from the coaches uh, because we hear around the clubs that winning's not the only thing, it's everything. So I want to know from a coach's perspective, is winning everything? Nick, you've been around for a very long time, just as Paul has. Uh, is winning everything? Uh, good question, Michael. Um, you always come up with some good questions. Thank you. Put us on the spot. Uh, <laughs> is winning everything? Uh, yeah, it is. Look, winning is everything. However, um, the focus, I believe, at the moment is that... Um, the definition of winning is all about getting a, outscoring the other person and not worried about how to get the score. So now with the invention of the, the electronic scoring and the scoreboard, all the kids have been doing is thinking about what the score is, um, rather than thinking how do I get a score. Prior to the electronics and the scoreboard coming out, um, where it was written down on a piece of paper, yeah, uh, the games were, they, they, there was more flow and there was more fighting because you only knew if you won at the end. So there was more interaction because you never knew if you were winning or not. So once the scoreboard came out, uh, people would throw a technique and worry about what the score was. And whatever the score was, that was everything to them. But really, winning is preparing well, going out, applying the technique, applying the tactic that you've been working with your coach, uh, uh, developing that tactic, uh, maintaining that tactic, enhancing that tactic, and going and performing that tactic. Now, I believe if you perform that tactic and score a point, then that's winning. Um, that's my perception. So winning is everything, but not when it comes to uh, what the score is. Winning is all about preparation. Winning is all about uh, the tactic. Winning is about the methodology of going to get a point. And then once you apply that technique and you and you get that technique and you pull off that technique and you do register a score, that's what I believe winning is. That's my perception. I've known uh, Nick and Paul for many years, so uh, I can see what drives these two guys. Paul, what, what's, what's your aspect of it, about winning and training kids? Is winning everything? Look, I, uh, I agree with Nick on, on all those points. Uh, we've been around for a long time. We've been training partners for the last, what, 15, 20 years mm. uh, with each other. We've fought each other. We've trained with each other. Yeah, everything. So, Trails, and, um, sweat, blood, sweat, tears. Yeah. And uh, look, our motto, and look, and in our own perception of who we are, uh, we've always sort of pretty much said winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. Mm. Um, but on, on another side of things, as a coach and as an instructor and as a parent, you know, you look at the other things, you know, and you, you sort of see the realism of uh, the winning aspect of things. You say, you tell your kids and you tell all the people, people around you, you know, doing your best anything you apply yourself to is already a win, you know. Mm. Um, the good things will come, the bonuses, the win is a bonus. Everything from there, doing your best, is a win. So, I look at it now, even with, like I say, my daughter, you know, I've got that approach where I have to, all my life always, I have to win, no matter what, no matter what, I have to win at everything I do, you know. And But with my daughter, and as with the parents, kid, and all the children that you're training, you can't just say you have to win, no matter what. You need to say you need to encourage them about the development side of things and say, do your best, yeah, and you're winning by just doing your best. And then the goal that you set for yourself, if you achieve it, then you're winning, you know. So I look at it like that now, and I, as a coach and as a when we get to an elite level, like at a high elite level, then it's a different story, you know. We are, we are, we set the, we set the bar a lot higher with ourselves and as a coach and as a fighter, you know, and you, and, you, and you expect a lot more from the people who have got that experience. You say, well, you've done the hard yards, you've done all your work, the experience, there's no more saying, oh, I'm going to gain experience from this. I'm going to actually, we're here to win. Pure and simple, you know, and, and there's nothing, nothing said and done. You're here to win, you know, and then if you don't win, then you've got to sit back and go, okay, what was the reason for? Yeah, maybe I didn't train hard enough, maybe my condition wasn't right, maybe I didn't apply myself the right way or the right techniques at that time, made the wrong decisions, you know, I didn't communicate properly with my coach. It's a different level, depending on the age group and the, and the, and the seniority of the, of the fighter that's uh, applying themselves at the time, so... Yeah. Uh, Sports Taekwondo Australia has been very fortunate to have two high-grade uh, coaches such as Nick and Paul, and we've been involved with them personally, and 
winning is an aspect, but these two guys do know how to teach the kids in terms of how to win and how to deal with it, which is very important in life generally.